What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Lightman here. Excellent lifestyle. Okay, guys, I was here. Young Daddy here. We're back with a video. We're back with another, uh, uh, I guess, another talk video, I guess. Uh, in today's video, I, uh, I guess we can figure to talk about this one, and that is the GTA uh, so called Definitive Edition. Now, some of y'all didn't notice around November, the GTA, uh, GTA Definitive Edition with Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City, and of course, uh, San Andreas was all in it. Um, the launch was pretty bad. It got so bad to the point where everybody um already made the conclusion that this is the worst you know dta kind of like sales or kind of like launch that they ever did and it got so bad like to a point where the community was just like backlash you know on gta and all type of stuff so i want to give my dive into reaction um this is the um the note that rockstar made around twitter um around november 19th you know what i'm saying so this is recording around december 4th so it might be updates and then but who cares so let's read this. Uh, it says uh, November 19, 2021. Um, this is Rockstar's tweet. It says, "Hi everyone. We want to revive an update of regardless of the, uh, the unexpected technical issues that came to light as part of, uh, of the launch of of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition." Uh, uh, firstly, we want to since sisters to sincerely apologize to anyone who has uh, encountered issues playing these games. I got the final uh, series and the games that makes up this iconic trilogy are as special to us as we know they are to the fans around the world. Um, obviously, the update, and I gotta go to another page, but basically, um, I guess Rockstar noticed that, you know, there were a lot of backlash about what was going on around the time when the, the uh, you know, the Definitive Editions came around, regardless of the trailer, but with no gameplay and all that. And a lot of like lagging issues, uh, bug issues, of course, issue when it comes to continue playing in your cutscenes, you'll get frozen on, and all that type of stuff. But it's more uh, to the uh, the update to avert the vers the update the versions of these uh, classic games did not uh, launch in a, a state that meets our own standards of quality or the standards of our fans uh, have come to expect. That we have ongoing plans to address the technical issues and improve each game going forward. With each planned update, the games will reach the level of quality that they deserve to be to be a new title update is on the way in the coming days so all the versions of Grand Theft Auto the, the, the trilogy the definitive edition that will address the number of issues we will update everyone as soon as, as it is alive in the meantime he pays us to mention oh wait I gotta go to another page so basically as time goes on um, they're gonna be updating us with so it fixes the bugs that that are that are happening. And by the time recording this, they did upset to bugs and all that, but it really doesn't matter. I'll explain that at the end. So uh, let's see another page. All right, there we go. In the meantime, it us to mention that we are hearing some reports of members of the development team being harassed on social media. We would kindly ask our community to please maintain a respectable and a civil discourse around the release as we work through these issues. While one of our goals of the uh, fifth editions was to allow players to enjoy these these games on modern platforms for many years to come, we also understand that, our, that some of you would like to still have the purchase of the previous classic versions available for purchase. We will be adding um, the classic uh, PC versions of Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City and San Andreas. Uh, back to the Rockstar stores uh, shortly as as a bundle additionally Yeah, so basically I'll explain all that later on. I'm still reading this um, I still gotta get the, the Hold on a second. I gotta get the Gotta click on this old stuff real quick um, Okay, here we here you go right here. We will be uh, adding the classic PC of the uh, Retro File 3 Vice City and San Andreas back to the Rockstar store shortly as a bundle. Additionally, everyone who has purchased Grand at the Fado, the Trinity Defend Editions uh, for PC from from the Rockstar store through uh, it, through uh, June uh, 30, 2022, will receive these classic versions in their Rockstar Games uh, launchers library at no additional cost. We will be updating one, one as soon as possible. These are back in the Rockstar stores as soon as these are back in the Rockstar stores. And once again, uh, we like to thank everyone for their, their patience and understanding while we work through these updates and ensure that these games meet everyone's just justify high standards. Uh, basically, sincerely, sincerely, basically, sincerely, Rockstar Games. So, all right, now we got that out the way. 
let's talk about this real quick. Let me get my full dive deep into what's been going on throughout the Rock Stars. You know, you know, friend, what's called the Rock Star Trilogy, the Defend Editions, and all that. Let me get my full thoughts on it. So, first and foremost, I don't condone, you know, of course, harassment towards, you know, developers and all that. I don't condone it. I highly kind of you guys do not do that. They were just people that were just developing this game. I know, told to do assignments and all that type of stuff. They were just trying to develop the game and all that type of stuff, you know, and all that. So I kindly people, I kindly ask people not to harass people. Um, you know, these are developers or anyone online. I don't condone none of this stuff. Please don't do it and thank you. Now with that out the way, um, it it's came me to say this, but like, damn, Rockstar literally kind of messed up on this one. A lot of people said it, it felt rushed. Um, on all on all occasions, all type of stuff. A lot of people said that they that they had suspicion about this when the trailer came out, and I did too because there were no gameplay, no none of that. Without those, we could give them no feedback or none of that, and you know, to the way where they got some fixes. And because of that, they just let out this whole entire bug of shit show. There are a lot of bugs that you know that um I'm, well I'm not gonna I would mention some of them. I mean there were there was this rain that looked like milk. You can't see through rain. You can't complete missions through rain. Cutscenes getting bugged out and all that type of stuff. Players doesn't look right. The face features, all the feature overall did not look right. There's like glitches through where you can barely see people's faces. They turn white and all that. There are a lot of bugs there in this game that, gosh, I can't, I couldn't even, I, I saw it with my own eyes. Now, I didn't play it though. I didn't play the Final Edition. However, I saw Captain Chris play this and it was just really bad. And for that reason, I, I, can't, I can't play it. And what's the worst part about this? I was actually going to actually buy it, but did not realize that, damn, damn, I was like, this close to buying it, but I was like, damn, this is really bad, I couldn't do it. And what's even more worse about this is that they are planning to update these kind of bugs as time goes on and on and on and all that other type of stuff. By the time they update all those shits, it's already come to people's minds that this rocks, that this, this, uh, Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition is completely a mess. And there's no way that they can fix that. Like, it's literally a mess. Once you start, um, you know, making the game, building the game up, and put it out there. Once you make that game and, uh, and, and it's out there and it's a complete mess, there's no turning back on it. These updates will not make up anything whatsoever for Rockstar. Um, you know, bad, you know, launch towards the Trilogy Editions. The worst part about this... The PC people, they can't even play the Definitive Edition. They can't even play it. It's literally locked in the store. They can't even play it. They can't ask the refund back. None of the people can ask for the refund back because of this whole thing. Literally, Rockstar's support is completely shut down. And it's just completely just sad, man. And then the Rockstar and Take-Two Reactor try to go out for these mods and all that type of stuff. So that way, people can only buy the, the Definitive Edition, the Trilogy Definitive Editions. And then, you know, the original uh, versions were going out to stores. The mods, uh, you know, edition, if you look at the mods edition from Reddit, their face, like, featured and all that, the features and everything on on the game was actually way better. They took the time to actually make this game more polished than the definitive edition was. It's going to wreck and all that type of stuff. There are a lot of bugs. There are a lot of, a lot, a lot of bugs that was into this game. A lot of bad things in this game to, to him as well. Although they had a graphic, like, update, which was great, but... There were a lot of bugs in this game that it just simply make me not want to buy it. Uh, I'd just rather talk about this. And uh, yeah, that's that's just sad, man. Uh, like I said, it's it's in the critics. The critics, the medical critic scores is are really bad too as well with the different editions. And man, I I just couldn't do it, man. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna buy this. There's no way, man. And I know somebody out there is gonna say this that why you keep on, you know, critiquing the game when you haven't even tried it or give it. Uh, any thoughts of the whole entire game or, you know, even play it. Because I don't want to waste my money on it. And the last time I played it without letting other people, like, play it first. Without giving them a full season through before I buy my money. Was WWE 2K20. And it was a really terrible game. And I regret buying that game because there were so many bugs in it. And I did not even give it a chance to even put, give a thought on it. I simply said, why not buy it? And just, you know, it was a shit show. So for that... And here on now, I was going to let other people play it before I come to conclusion to buying it. So, let's just get that out of the way. But yeah, man, Mango Critics, are, it's it's like, it's really bad. I'm here, I like, it's like it's so bad. Like, if you go to Mango Critics right now, PC versions, all the, the console versions are really, it's just really terrible. And the updates won't even matter at this point. Um, by the time of recording this, they are updating this game, but, uh, this game, but it won't even matter at this point. It's the, the, 
Grand Theft Auto uh, trilogy, the definitive edition, uh, the definitive edition, is completely dead. It's completely gone out the window. And I will say this too as well. That is, if they can f, f up the uh, the definitive edition for three iconic, uh, you know, Grand Theft Autos, what makes you think they won't mess up the remaster of Grand Theft Auto 4 or remaster of 5 or better yet, uh, GTA 6? Because if if the the current developers who can't of the current developers, the people or Rockstar, you know, if they cannot do anything right when it comes to, you know, make it a, a, a old game but in like in a modern, you know, modern technology kind of settings to where we have these new engines coming out every single year, um, and all that, what makes you think that GTA six will 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 be right? And you know, I I, I have I played GTA I play all GTA throughout the my entire life. And you know, my favorite one is always the San Andreas because it's more like it goes beyond the hood. You know, it's in the hood, but it goes beyond Grove Street. It's go beyond, you know, the hood and all until like shit gets real. And you know, it, it, they, it's bad enough they mess up those those the, the game with the current you know technology we have. But now all of a sudden, um, you know, now they mix it up with the remaster. You know, all, all that type of stuff. And it kind of got me worried about GTA 4 remastery. That's if they make the GTA 4 remastery. I mean, I mean, it's up to them if they want to. Um, it, it, it's going to be even more bad enough if they decide to even go as far as making GTA 6, but in the worst possible state, just like this. I hope that's not the case because GTA 6, everybody's ex expectations are going to be way high for the GTA. Like, because GTA 5 was a huge success. So it had one of the most, like, one of the most making like monies, I think, like one of the most like copies in like in in gaming history. Like it was that iconic. And GTA 5 was that good. Like people were st still playing GTA 5 to this day. Like it's that good. Like it's so good. Like it had one of the most like one of the best. It was the best GTA 5, you know, money making game of all GTAs. Um, and it was the best copies of all GTA. So uh, if they mess, up, if they can mess up this. You know the the this defend edition then don't be uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they go as far as kind of best of GTA 6 and I hope they don't I'm praying they don't I hope that they learn the lesson I hope that Rockstar and the developer team from Rockstar Studios uh, uh, learned a lesson from the defense edition of GTA uh, you know all of the three games the GTA 3 Vice City and San Andreas they learned from that and realized the mistakes they have done and that they cannot mess this up. They cannot mess up another remaster. Or they cannot mess up uh, GTA 6. Because that is the game that I'm willing to buy. GTA 6. I can't wait for it. Because. Because you know. I don't know when it's ever going to come out. I, like, let's be honest. I don't know when it's going to come out. But I, that's the highly anticipated game that everybody's going to be waiting for. Every Rockstar fan is out there going to be waiting for GTA 6. Or GTA 4. Whenever which one comes out in the first. And if they mess. If they messed up the trilogy one, then I wouldn't be surprised if they messed up either one of those games. But at the same time, I hope they don't. I hope that they this is the one time thing that they mess up, they learn from it, and they just realize that you know what? This this is unpolished. We messed up for you guys. We took the note that we, we took back in November seriously and we're not gonna mess this up again. But who knows? Only time until in the future and all that type of stuff. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it, man. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about, you know, uh, the whole entire, you know, GTA, you know, the field, GTA, you know, the the field editions. Um, uh, do you like it? Do you, do you don't like it? Do you think it's good or bad? Let me know what you think about this. And yeah, nothing else to say. Take care. I'm out. Peace. The voice of the demon is the voice inside your head. The voice of the demon will make you feel dead. The voice of the demon is 100% real. The voice of the demon is the one you need to kill. The voice of the demon is the voice inside your head. The voice of the demon will make you feel dead. The voice of the demon is 100% real. The voice of the demon is the one you need to kill. kill, kill, kill.